Howdy y'all, my name is Brunt Hefferton, Mist Runner, Total War of the Mist Runner Tribe, and today I wanted to take y'all through the Slave Pens. Now the Slave Pens is the first of the dungeons in Zangermarsh. Definitely the easiest of them. The mobs are around 62. I'm gonna take it pull by pull, talk about what they do, how you can have the best run possible. These lobster packs, not too tough, just physical damage. Leave them down. They have a good bit of health. These packs that have the slave handlers and the slaves, you want to kill the slaves first if you want to get EXP and rep from them. But if you have moral qualms about that, that's fine. But as soon as you kill the slave handler, the slaves will run away and they'll start evading your attacks. So you'd want to focus those down first. And then the slave handler. You can even mark stuff if you want to try hard. Where's he going? He's going. See, watch this guy. So the slave handler left. He should run away now. Unless there's a range limitation. Who knows? Can interrupt those frost bolts. I'm just running this as a fury spec. Whenever it's heroic, I'm gonna be deep prot. If you're a tank and you're not super geared, just put a shield on defensive stance. Smooth out the poles a little bit. The workers don't have a slave handler attached to them, so you can just kill them. Now these rays do a horrify effect, which can be interrupted, but it cannot be broken through Wheel of Forsaken and stuff. So normally I would advise focusing these down first. It's a pet, but it is an elite. They have a good bit of HP. And then after that, you probably want to focus the, the healer next. See, that's the fear effect. These champions do a fear effect. Tremor Totem, Fear Ward. Berserker Rage, do what you can. Enchantress. You can prio that above the champion. Sometimes I like to use Berserker Rage just to generate more rage from getting hit. But if you're against a pack that fears, it's best to save it. Slaves first. Got a couple lobster packs over here. These are pretty easy, just put a demo shout up, maybe a thunderclap. And then Zug. simple check your healer mana it's good keep going there's another pull over here stack them up demo shout leave them down and this whole area is a big circle around this point here so we're just going to keep clearing around. Great XP in these packs. Not too difficult pulls. Great for leveling up. This place is definitely easier than Underbog. It's a couple levels lower in the average mob level. And the pulls seem just generally easier. And the slave pull. Make sure you get threat. Cleave them down. Now 
another one of these slave slave handler packs you can just hit the champion one time to get threat or the handler rather and then focus on the rest we got a pat pull I'll go ahead and mark what I'm doing to mark these is just tab and then F1 F2 etc put on some target markers Interrupts, cleaves, zug. What do you do after you zug? You zug again. And one more lobster pull. Why am I still in combat? Good, good. Now we have a double defender pull. These defenders have a shield and a one-hander, and they put on a spell reflect ability. They don't really hit too hard, but a little bit tougher to take down. They will reflect certain effects like that Thunder Fury proc if they have their shield up. Next room coming up, watch out for the pat. You can just pull that. These technicians channel a rain of fire, which can be interrupted. They don't really hit too hard. Not on normal anyway. Now these are not slaves, these are collaborators. They will not run away like the other ones did. They cast a cripple ability and they enrage. The cripple can be interrupted. Technician Rain of Fire also you can pummel. Or kick. Or earth shock. Or counter spell. So this boss you can pull while he's padding around. And he probably won't pull the rest, but if he's way up there you can just pull another pack. He's on his way down. So this boss. First one enslaved pins. The betrayer. I'll show you the loot after. He's a shaman. So he casts lightning bolt and he drops totems. You want to kill the totems right away. As soon as you see him. Lightning bolt. Can't interrupt that, doesn't hit very hard. Kill the totem. Nova totem deals about 2.1k, we missed that one. It fires pretty fast. You want to try to tab hit it as fast as you can. All in all, not too tough. So you dropped a shiv. Pretty nice dagger. The other loot from this boss. Also drops spell hit, damage and healing, pants, good amount of int and spirit on them. Mail chest, damage and healing, MP5. Waste, mail piece, hit, crit, attack power. The dagger that just dropped here, pretty good. Main hand sword, spell hit, damage and healing. And nature armor kit recipe. One more pull over here for XP.
And then we'll go up that ramp where the boss came down. That is the cripple effect. Movement speed reduction, time between attacks increased, and strength reduced as well. Pretty nasty. One of these tech collaborator poles. Pummel that cripple. Our group has no way of dispelling that. Now there's a patrol pack on either side of this double defender. Oh no, double technician. Rain of fire then. Double defender. Actually double defender this time. Watch for spell reflect. One collaborator. I'd probably focus the collaborator just for that. Cripple ability, pretty strong. jump into the water. Another pull. Enchantress. Double tech. Recklessness is good. As I've been leveling, I've just been hitting that every 30 minutes, whether it's a boss or trash. The bosses aren't as hard as some of the trash pulls. So I feel like for cooldowns, if you're thinking about getting there th as fast as you can, just smoke them if you got them. There's a quest guy up here, if you have that lost in action quest. Outside of this coal fang reservoir. You can go talk to him up there. We already did that, so we don't need to do it again. champion. They have the fear. Tremor totem. Fear ward. We're in lobster town now. There's the king lobster. I just did a range pull just in case it chained to him. You could use this pole to save rage for the boss, or you can clear this one. 
I think it's probably safer to just clear. These rays do the horrify. And then the healer next, probably. DPS order I like to do is Skull X Triangle Square. Skull, everyone knows you Zug first. X has two crosses. Triangle has three sides. Square has four sides. Easy to remember. Have them bound to F1 through F4. Alright, this boss has a water spit ability. He also does an enrage. And he has a deep wound or something ability. Against that, the tank needs to be topped off. Really going in there. He's hitting me for about 802 in Berserker Stance. Water Spit hit for 2k. Watch for that wound ability. There it is. Physical damage is going to be inflicted until you're healed all the way to full. He doesn't enrage there, so you may put a shield on or do a defensive cooldown. This guy drops. Cape, armor, stam defense, trinket, resilience, damage absorb, main hand weapon, healing, wand, healing as well. Crossbow, add your attack power. There's another ray. Nope, that's a psychic core. You run really fast, so sometimes you pull another pack. Barely just didn't, though. That's why you'd want to focus the rays and try to interrupt. Defender Patrol. Spell Reflect. Offhand Sharpening Stone? Oh yeah, good call. That expired. Enchantress Soothsayer first. Champions have fear. Mind control. Oh man! Oh man! Jeez! Well, that's a problem. We just blew up my teammates. Gotta watch out for that mind control, I guess. Break the fear on the champion. <laughs> wow. That was pretty brutal. Yeah. I'll bandage him up. I would guess the Enchantress is the one who does that. Being enchanted makes sense. Charm effect. Can probably break that with uh, Berserker Rage or Tremor Totem. So I'm going to save my Berserker Rage properly this time. There's a Psychic Horror. I just ran off. Those are friends. They said, well, 
I was just very persuaded in that moment. Enchantress. Champion Fierce. Suitsayer says uh, suits. Whatever that means. Some more workers up here. Lobster pull, demo shout, cleave them down. Pretty simple. Cage over there. We're going to help him out. Lobster pull as well. To play it safe, you could pull that lobster patrol first before you go up here and fight this one. You're just going to zug. So you let this guy out of the cage. Intruders! With the prisoner, kill them! Just kill these. Most people will probably start doing this at about 62. Feels pretty good. This boss is 64. Quagmaron. And he's the last boss. You can run along the side here. Build some rage. Fight him on the beach. He does a poison spit thing that can be dispelled. He hits pretty hard. Knocks the tank in the air. About 1k a hit. If he hits. He does some other mechanic on Heroic. There's Acid Spray. I taunted him back on me. So he's channeling that Acid Spray. I want to taunt him off if I can. That's what it is. Paladin Pants. What else does he drop? Spell Crit, Damage and Healing Cape. Leather Hands for Feral or Rogue. Male Shoulders, AP, MP5, Agi. Warrior or Paladin Chest, I guess. And Paladin Legs. And that's Slave Pen's Normal. Really good dungeon for grinding. Not very hard at all. Pulls are nice and easy to cleave down. Just watch out for that uh, Psychic Horror from the Rays. Focus those down. You can interrupt that, but you cannot break that with regular Fear Break. And also be wary of that Mind Control. That is quite the doozy if they Mind Control the Warrior. Well, hope you enjoyed this tour of Slave Pens from me, Brunt. I'll see you in the heroic version of this. Ancestors, watch over you.